What is up, YouTube? It's Chase right here. I'm giving you the next top 10 C to for your Joe Brook iOS device compatible with iOS 10.1. And 10.2, so stay tuned and enjoy the video. All right, so our first tweak is called Horseshoe. You do need a custom repository, be up in your screen down below the description as well. As well, all the repositories that you're going to need will be in the description down below, so make sure to check that out. So, yeah, so Horseshoe is a amazing tweak. It brings back the old iOS 9 feature to have your media controls on the first page. So, there's no more pages, you just have one single page on your control center. So, here's your music, and uh, here's your pause, and and go forward the only thing is they don't have to go back so you can't rewind back to the previous song um, all you can do is go forward but it's a very nice tweak I really hated just um, scrolling to the next page and clicking play or pause or anything like that on my phone and as well the layout does change so as you can see we have extra buttons right here because we're crammed in with the um, media controls right here and as well to change the brightness all you do is click on right here where this little speaker is it will change to volume right here and you click on the little sun it will turn to brightness so it's a very nice feature it's very simple and it makes your iphone look very sleek our next week is still on the control center and it's flip control center so if you guys remember the cc settings it was a nice tweak to add more pages to your control center so as you can see we have more toggles on our control center with this tweak right here if you do download it you can go to the flip control center right here and you can go to active switches and you can change all the switches right here so you have a ton of different switches to actually add so let's say i want to add vpn as well and let's add Eclipse and we scroll up there it is so VPN and Eclipse will be this one right here and as well you can even change the icons on the bottom so you can remove the flashlight you can add more features to the bottom icons right here so if we go to a uh, bottom shelf right here we can change them as well so we can add a like, respring this is very useful I always use the respring so I have that on my control center right here in the corner but you can add even more so you can add another extra Wi-Fi toggle or a hotspot toggle so let's add that to my device so there it is hotspot if we do scroll up and there it is we have a hotspot button on our control center as well so it's all helpful uh, flip control center you do need custom repository will be up your screen and down below the description as well so yeah so our next week is Noctis. So what Noctis does gives you a dark control center to your iOS device. And for me, it looks way better than just having a white one. So I did make a video previously on this tweak, but it got removed from the repo. I just found a couple of repos that actually host this uh, tweak right here. So you can actually download it for free, or you can support the developer for two bucks. You can actually buy this tweak for yourself. But I got it for free with the repo on the description down below and open your screen right now. So it gives you a nice dark UI on your control center and as well on your widgets right here and on your notification center as well so it's a very great tweak I really do recommend you actually get this one because it looks very uh, stylish so finally going to our home screen our next week is Evanesco so whenever Evanesco does it gives you a nice fade on your applications where you're not using your screen so as you can see my applications just faded with Evanesco if I don't use it so if I do click on it again we should be back on a with both icons. So, but if I don't use it for five seconds, it will just go onto this uh, faded application screen. So we do go to settings, and then let's go right here, and we can enable this, and we can set the uh, fade alpha. I do have it at 0.28 for my preference, and I have it for five seconds. You can leave this at two seconds, but it gets pretty annoying if you keep using your applications because it just fades out in the split second, technically. So I do keep it at around five seconds and makes your device look very nice when it does fade. So that's all the help of Evanesco. So our next week on our list is called High Labels 10. So as you can see, I do have no labels on my icons right here. So it's completely blank and it makes your device look so much sleeker. So as you can see, no like no labels on my icons and it's very clean look to your device. I really uh, like this tweak and makes your device feel. Um, bit bigger in my opinion so I really do recommend this uh, tweak right here you do need a custom posture be up your screen and down below the description as well and that's all with help of high labels 10 so our next week is verified icon dock so if you haven't noticed I do have five icons on my dock 
and is that's not regular on iOS. On iOS, we usually have four icons, but with this tweak right here, we have five icons, and it looks amazing. So I don't know why Apple doesn't implement uh, five icons in the dock or in your home screen as well. So let's all help with five icon dock. Really great tweak to add more more apps to your dock. So our next week is called Power Color. So Power Color gives you the ability to actually customize the color of your battery percentage. So as you can see, it is an orange tip. And we do go to settings for Power Color to custom colors. And 100% it should be on a baby blue color. Then down the line, it will turn to green, yellow, orange, then red. So if all you want, you can actually customize this to a rainbow if that's what you want. But uh, for me, I do have it at a normal color scheme for a battery icon so this really helps a lot if you just look at the battery color and you can determine how much battery percentage you have left so it's a very nice tweak to actually customize the color of your battery icon so it's all help of power color so a must have tweak guys so it's a very must have tweak is crash report especially if you're new to jailbreaking or anything like that so what crash report does actually tell you what tweaks or what's actually crashing your device so my Springer just crashed less than an hour ago it was actually because of two tweaks clashing with each other so this tweak will determine what tweak is inflected with other tweaks or what tweak is inflected with your device to actually crash your device so what's up the thing that actually made it crash was um nothing so i didn't find anything it was just a regular crash but on my springboard it was because of the tweak docker so it was because it was crashing with bear 5 icon dock so both of these tweaks cannot uh, be combined together so it just crashes your device when doing so so it's a very must have tweak and yeah so get crash reporter it's a very must use tweak if you want to determine why your device is crashing a lot so another tweak that we have for Cydia is fast up repo so what this does um, if you ever have the problem of your repos taking forever to refresh because every time you open up Cydia your repos must refresh if not you cannot download any updates or you cannot download any tweaks that are on the on the changes so and you you must let your repos refresh but with this tweak right here it will make your repos even faster because I did have the problem that my repos they took forever to refresh my device so with this what this does actually makes your repos refresh even faster and probably like at least like 25 seconds more faster than usual so it's a very significant change so i really do recommend you installing this tweak you do need a custom repository to be up in your screens and down below description as well so do install this tweak if you're a jailbreaker guys so, because it's a very must have tweak if you do have a lot of repos just like me so as you can see i have a lot of repos on my device and with this tweak right here i can refresh my device within 10 seconds so it's a very must have tweak if you have a lot of repos just like me that's all help of festive repo and our last and final tweak is pandora downloader so um you do need custom i'll be up your screen the description as well so what this does you can actually download music from pandora and add it to this application right here you can have a limited skips get pandora one for free technically no advertisements no nothing so you can have a limited skips no advertisements and even download music for free with pandora download so i'm gonna give a demonstration right now all right so a song just started on my device i can skip skip again skip again skip again skip again and skip again so as you can see i do have unlimited skips on my device and as well if you want to download a song just click on this little triangle on the bottom so you want to click on that you, you can click on save song on downloads and it's a very quick um download speed so it's very quick to actually download any song you want so very useful tweak and as well before i i log off of this you want to go to more you want to go to settings and have all these enabled so enable pandora one enable limit skips on limit listening no monthly limits no visual ads no audio ads no banner so enable all of these and they should work perfectly with your latest version of pandora so yeah if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe more to videos come your way shakes right here see you in the next one peace